Hauls, welcome back. So in today's video, we are doing something like a home decor haul, except not exactly a home decor haul. You guys know I'm terrible at filming things as I get them or before I use them. And so in this case, the home decor haul, the items are already up. So you guys are going to see, first of all, what I got. And if I remember, y'all know my memory is terrible. But if I remember, I will also be telling you where I got them and how much. But not only that, you guys will be able to see how I put the pieces together, where I place them, everything like that, and how it looks in my living room. So we have decided to do a whole living room like revamp. We had freshened up the paint. We already used the paint that we had. The color on my walls is like a really light gray color and it's um, called On The Rocks. So that's the shade that we used on the walls. And then we just did the trim in white. Although ignore this ugly door behind me, you guys. Like I said, we're in the middle of like a whole like living room slash home revamp. So that door will be changed. So I didn't bother painting that or anything because we're actually going to get a different one installed. I just have to decide on the door, you guys. The screen door, I already know what I want. It's like a big glass screen door. But the actual big door, I, I'm still undecided. So that's why it's not done yet. But as soon as we pick one, we will be good to go. So like I said, this haul video will be a little different because I will be showing you guys these items as they're already out and placed and you guys can see what they look like, how it goes with everything, all of that. We also got some new furniture. We got um, a coffee table with two end tables and like a little fireplace TV stand um, furniture set, which was not bad. I believe we got it from walmart if i find the screenshot i will put it in here you guys know i am terrible at adding things into my video as i edit or after i get it done it's crazy i try to like keep up with what i edit but once i'm done i just i'm like i don't want to go back so we also went ahead and like freshened up the furniture as well oh and we also got a dining table but the dining room is not done yet the only thing in there is the dining table at the moment um, but we still have to paint and change some things in there, so I'm not going to show you guys that just yet. But as far as the furniture set that we got for the living room, you can see one of them right here beside me. It's a cute little, like, end table, like, farmhouse, barn door style furniture. And you guys, I love it. I told you guys, like, my house was, like, farmhouse glam, but I'm kind of taking the glam out and just making it all, like, farmhouse and I love it like it just feels so cozy and home I don't know what it, it just feels like home so the first thing that I'm going to start with is what's already on the couch I got these two pillows I got one here in this corner in the exact same setup on the other side of the couch but I got these at Big Lux and they were actually on sale they were in the clearance um they were originally $22.99 but I took the tag off of here but I believe they were like two something so that was like literally a steal and I like them because they're like this like pale orange color kind of and I think it's so fall and honestly you guys you know how obsessed I am with Halloween like Halloween's my favorite holiday I actually took down my Halloween decor that's in the house and put the fall stuff back up because like the way it just goes with the decor and everything like it's just it's so cozy and plus Thanksgiving is right around the corner normally I put the fall stuff back up after Halloween so that I can have it for Thanksgiving but I'm going to leave the Halloween decorations on the porch until like November 1st. And then I'll probably go right back out there and change everything on the porch as well. So yes, I took everything down in here just so it could all match like my little vibe. And I'm loving it. But yeah, I got these at Big Lots on the clearance for like $2, $2-$3. So the next thing that we have is this cute little flower arrangement that I actually have setting on the coffee table. It's the cutest little flower arrangement that you can like ever imagine especially for like the vibe and the look that I'm going for in here I love it and plus it's got like detail in it like it looks like it's setting in water it's so cute I'm putting fingerprints all over it after I cleaned it but I got this at TJ Maxx this was like $24.99 I believe and they had two and I really kind of wish I got two because I could have put the other one on my dining table but we'll see if it's there when I go back if not I could probably find something that I like even more because I'm always like indecisive the next thing that I got, I don't remember the price on this, you guys, um, but I'm going to say no more than $20, and I got these at TJ Maxx as well. TJ Maxx or Burlington, but I don't remember the price on these, but it's just these cute little, like, candle lanterns. It's glass, got the black detail, the black hardware, and the little um, battery-operated candle, so I don't have to worry about burning nothing down or leaving it on. 
and I got two of these as you saw earlier in the video this one was actually sitting behind me on this table and the other one is on the other end table on the end of the couch okay so um, I'm not sure when I'm going to include the footage of this but the fireplace TV stand that we also got with the furniture set I actually have it setting on the against the wall where you come in the front door at so it's like right over here instead of using it as a TV stand because for one my TV's like mounted to the wall so there was like no need like I can't really set it on there um and plus it was kind of too low for where I have my TV so I would have had a big gap and not only that where I have my TV is like a small space and this is a little longer this table is a little longer and I didn't want it to stick out too far so it actually looks really really good um, against the wall where you walk in the front door and like it's a cute little display kind of catches your attention when you come in so on the fireplace stand I have this setting there this I got at TJ Maxx I do not remember the price on this at all and I already took the sticker off so I have no idea what it was um, but it's just a cute little like black bowl with a little wooden stand and I have this currently holding um, my candle lighter and my keys and stuff like when I come in or when I leave my keys are right by the door I used to actually have my keys hanging on the wall right here where this table is on like a little glass um, mirror hangy thing that my mom and I had actually made it was a DIY and it's been up there for years and I actually just switched it out um, to a picture that was in one of my other home decor halls I've been using this right by the door to keep my keys and stuff in and also my candle lighter just so I can always know where that is because y'all I also have like a million and five candles to include in this haul because I'm candle obsessed. So y'all, I wasn't going to include this because technically it's not in my living room. Um, so I wasn't going to include it, but I was going around and doing the little clips to show you guys the candles. And I was like, well, let me go ahead and include it. I got this little wooden cutting board at TJ Maxx as well for like $12. I've been wanting one of the little wooden cutting boards not to like really use, but more so for decoration. So I put this on my dining room table and I thought it was absolutely adorable. But now we are going to continue on and I'm going to show you guys the candle portion of this haul because y'all I've got like a million of them. So I'm going to show you the ones that I have burning first. So the first one that we got is warm cashmere. I got all of these on sale. Like some of these I got at Big Lots for literally like two dollars some of them i got at walmart for like three um i don't think this one had a price on it and i'm not trying to pour out that hot wax but we got this one here and we also got this one over here that i have also in the dining room but this one is whiskey sandalwood y'all like i really hit the jackpot with these candles because none of these was like maybe one was like five dollars the rest was like no more than three or four literally like the best but we got whiskey sandalwood over here and then right over here on the tv table we have another one i just turned it around because it's got like a pink label on it and i just wanted to wanted it to look like a clear like regular candle but we have pink magnolia here and i got this at big lots for 125 see i told you guys like they were literally cheap i hit the jackpot with these and these are some other ones that I also got. So we have bourbon, pecan pie, pecan pie, whatever, however you guys say it. I don't remember where I got that one at or how much that one was, to be honest. And then we also have a caramel toffee. Don't remember where I got this one or the price of that one either, you guys. This one here, though, came from Big Lots for $2.65. As you can see, they marked it down like quite a few times. And then just the last one we have is white pumpkin and... This one was $3.99 at Roses, I believe. That's the price tag for Roses. The next thing is this cute little jar that I've been using for a vase to hold like some fall flowers and stuff on the same table where the fireplace is. Um, all of these items that I'm about to show you actually are all on the TV, um, the fireplace. So this is over there as well. It's got this cute little like leather strap around the top and then it's just a glass vase that I've been having some fall flowers in. I got this at TJ Maxx for $3.97. The price tag's still on there, so we're lucky about that. The next thing I got, y'all, I don't know what to call this. I've been calling it like a little wooden ball thing. I don't know if it even has like an actual name. I don't remember how much this was either, probably like 3 to $4. And I'm pretty sure I got this at TJ Maxx as well. And I just have this setting over on that table with everything else just to add a little 
something to take up a little more space. And then here in a second, I'm going to show you guys the wall that I actually have behind the fireplace because I have a picture already hanging up there that I wanted to include in this haul, but I am not taking it down because I'm not putting it back up there. It was hard to put it up there the first time and I'm not doing it. But my vision for that wall, I'll tell you guys when I get there. <laughs> I'll probably tell you this again when I'm showing you guys that wall. But my vision for that wall is the picture that's already on there. Above it, I want to put a row of maybe like four or five like family pictures. Like make like a little picture wall. Like, you know, me, my daughter, my mom. A whole cute little like collage probably above it. Because I had to hang that picture down a little bit. Because I'm using it to cover my thermostat. Because that thing is ugly and bulky and I can't deal with it. So, yeah. I just, I always hang something there to hide it. So above it, I'm going to put like a little family picture wall. And then on the side of the picture that's hanging there, I have two of these little candle holders that I'm also going to hang on each end. And I think it's going to look really adorable. You guys, once again, some things are still missing. Like I want to replace the curtains. So we need to get new curtains in here because it doesn't really match the vibe. Um, so there will probably be an update or a part two because... Yeah, we got to still change the curtains. I have an idea for that, but I don't know if it's going to work. And I still need a couple things on the wall. I need something over here in this corner behind the couch. I had a clock that I was going to hang there, but it actually fell after I hung it. And the bottom of it broke. So I'm not going to put that back up. But I definitely need something over there. Um, a rug, like a few little knickknacks. Of course, the door. So there will be like an update so you guys can see everything like all together and finished. But I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I got so far because... First of all, I didn't get to film these things in the hall before I used them, as usual. And also, you guys know, I have a three-year-old child, so things don't stay nice very long. So something's either going to be broken or colored on or something before I can get the whole living room together. So I'm going to show you guys piece by piece as we go, and I hope you're okay with that. It's just my life is crazy and messy at times. But these cute little candle holders are going to go on each side of the picture that I have hanging on the wall behind the fireplace. These were originally, I got these at Roses. Um, they were originally $9.99, then they were marked down to 7 and then they were marked down to 5 So I got each one for 5 which was not bad. Like, I got two for the price of what they were originally selling one for. So that was, y'all know I love a deal and I love a budget. So that's definitely the way to go. Next, this little guy doesn't really match my farmhouse decor if he was a pig or a cow or something like that maybe but y'all i have an obsession with french bulldogs this i got at like a family dollar i believe and he was probably like i don't know five dollars he definitely was not very expensive maybe three but i thought that he was so adorable he's really cute and plus he's black so he matches some of the black things that i have going on in here i just know it's kind of random to have like a little dog setting somewhere but he's actually setting on the table under my tv and he looks cute there. I think he adds a little something and I'm not moving him. So that's where his home is. Okay, so I know you guys are probably going to think that all of my home decor items and decorations are only like on the fireplace or the wall behind the fireplace. But I promise you, this whole living room is filled with stuff, okay? But <laughs> speaking of which, beside the fireplace, um, I have this cute little white jug that I got. And I got this at TJ Maxx for $13. That was definitely a steal. I don't know what the original price was because they have it covered up. Um, but this was absolutely adorable and it's got like the texture on it. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. I did not know what I was doing with it at the time, but I knew I was not coming home without it. And you guys know if you've been following me for a while, TJ Maxx is like my favorite store for everything. For clothes, for bags for home decor like literally tj maxx is the best place ever they honestly probably should sponsor me because everything in my closet and in my house pretty much all came from tj maxx i'm obsessed with this place okay but i have this setting on the floor beside the fireplace and it actually looks really cute these are not new or a part of the home decor haul i had got these i don't know a couple months ago the only thing i don't like about these and the only reason i'm being careful with them they shed so they get like this little fuzzy stuff literally everywhere like i just got it all over the place while i was moving it over here to show you guys but i just have these setting in it and once again you will see it in the footage or the pictures but i'm gonna go put these back because it's making a mess and i'm i can't deal with it so the next thing that i'm going to show you guys is not technically a home decor item or piece but it definitely does help me in the home so and i've been owning one of these for a long time but I honestly did not want to break down and spend like 
a hundred to two hundred dollars on this thing but i grabbed a robot roomba you guys and i've been running this thing she works great like she she definitely the only thing i don't like is she keeps bouncing like off of stuff like she i don't know she don't really know what she's doing but if you leave her running for a while she'll eventually get to everything um but i actually got this for twenty dollars at a yard sale and i am so happy like this was a a steal a bargain like literally like a heaven sent situation i walked up to a yard sale it was sitting in a box with the sensors little extra brushes literally everything everything for twenty dollars and i'm like does she work and the lady was like yeah and she certainly she certainly does i just personally don't really know how to work it yet i just pushed the button and let her roam but i'm pretty sure i could find like a video and like find out the specifics of everything i thought that was a good deal like a whole robot vacuum for twenty dollars and it came with the like the little charging base the sensors extra brushes filters like it literally came with everything and i was like i absolutely love this i've been wanting one for a while and she does work she like goes around the whole house the only thing i don't like is she does keep like bouncing off of things and like kind of just does her own thing but she eventually gets there and that's crazy for it to work as well as it does for 20 dollars. because my first question was girl does this work and i was so surprised okay so the next thing you guys have to ignore what's inside of it i'm using this as my daughter's toy bin for the living room so we literally have all types of toys in here they are not part of the haul but i got this basket at the same yard sale that i got the roomba from and i got this for three dollars and i thought this was absolutely adorable and it has two chalkboard um tabs on it so you could write on it the other one though is kind of like stained i guess they use like a marker or something so you can kind of see an outline of what they had there but i just wrote toys on this and i have it sitting over in my daughter's little toy corner y'all her her bedroom is packed full of toys and she has a toy corner out here she's got toys everywhere but i needed something bigger because what i was using was overfilling and just it's a mess but this little three dollar yard sale basket works perfect for her little toy bin so next i actually have another basket this one was ten dollars at a different yard sale but it's a whole lot taller and a whole lot bigger i actually have a random couch pillow stored in here for right now because i took it off my couch to like match the fall stuff so i'm going to use this for like extra pillows blankets whatever i need to store because i have it on the second shelf of my tv table so like you can't really see what's in it anyway so i'm going to use that for storage so this little guy here we got at a thrift store for 99 cent i have pins in here i'm using it for a pin holder so i didn't want to spill them out but we got this for 99 cent and it's just a cute little like white glass jar with this cute little rope um tie around it and i just thought it was adorable i don't really know i guess you could use it for literally everything or anything i'm just using it to hold some pins that i had and something different that was on my tv table okay so and now this is the last item that we have and i actually got this it's called an expo like it was like an antique expo where like literally a whole lot of vendors and people it's kind of something like a yard sale just not as cheap but this one was for antiques where a whole lot of like vendors and sellers and stuff come together they fill a building and like a whole like field with like tents and little stations and booths and things like that and they all sell like different things i actually got this ring there as well so they have like literally everything and i saw this at one person's stand and they wasn't there when i was like looking because a lot of times like these people know each other so they'll go to like next door and talk to like the people that's selling next to them or like they'll roam around so the person at this particular stand wasn't there when i was like roaming and looking and the only thing that really caught my eye was this wreath and it's so crazy because i started to walk off and that's when he walked up and he was like did you see something that you're interested in and i was like um maybe i'm slow because everything else has a price tag on it but the only thing that didn't was this so i don't know if it's for sale or not and he was like oh it's the free item of the day and i was like really so he literally just gave me this and i like i don't know what it is but i love it and it feels like it matches my vibe in here although this looks like little ears of corn but it's like just literally like a little twig wooden wreath that i thought was cute and it hangs above my rocking chair perfectly so like all of this stuff literally fit like it did its job it understood the assignment and like it pulled everything together literally so 
there you have it you guys that is all for this little home decor haul video i hope that you kind of like the idea that we did it a little bit different if you did please make sure to leave this video a thumbs up go ahead and leave me your comments down below until my next video and if you haven't done it already please make sure you hit that subscribe button as you see i film and upload randomly and i have all types of content there's literally something for everyone so i don't want you to miss out but now i need to worry about putting all of this stuff back where i had it because y'all I've then pulled everything out to show this to you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.